as Arthur C. Clarke said, how inappropriate to call it planet Earth when clearly it is ocean. Sally Chisholm's fascination with planet ocean led to the discovery of one of its tiniest yet mightiest engines, the microorganism Prochlorococcus. This tiny microbe was, was trying to reveal itself to us for, for over a decade before we finally were able to observe it. It was through the use of an instrument that had been developed for cancer research that the novelty and significance of Prochlorococcus became obvious. Thanks to Chisholm's research, we now know that it is the most abundant photosynthetic cell on Earth, and it is a descendant of the first photosynthetic microbes that colonized the sea 3.5 billion years ago. If it weren't for those microscopic plants, the Earth wouldn't have oxygen in its atmosphere. And these microbes are, are the engines for all of the biogeochemical cycles on the Earth. Studies of their diversity and adaptive behaviors have helped advance our understanding of ocean ecosystems. The advent of genomics has revolutionized the way we study the oceans. I sometimes refer to seawater as dissolved information. Chisholm's early interest in marine microbiology carried her to MIT, where for more than 30 years she's taught environmental science and ecology. Because water was such a large part of my life growing up on Lake Superior, and because I had been enchanted by seeing phytoplankton under a microscope, I ended up going in that direction. She shares that enchantment with today's young minds through her award-winning children's book series. Boiling down everything you know into a message for that age makes you learn so much about what's significant and what's not. Prochlorococcus has been my muse over these 30 years, and it, it just keeps yielding fruit. <laughs> <laughs>